Hello everyone. Welcome to today's Tech Good Reads. Today I will talk about AWS Lens 3. First, please think of this question. How to set up a website with static content only? Maybe you have many solutions, like a I start up a server and put the contents there and then publish it. But what is the easiest way to do it? I will talk about the answer later. First, let's talk about AWS S3. S3 means Simple Storage Service. It's an object level storage, which means that if you want to change a part of a file, you have to make the change and then re-upload the entire modified file. This means that S3 is based on the file instead of records. In S3, when you upload a file, it's very important to keep this file secure. So you need to use access control. There are two levels of access control. One is bucket policy. It's on the S3 bucket level. You can define if this bucket is public accessible or not. Another level is S3 object level, using the object access control list to control if the file is public or not. When you write that uh, ACL, we need to use the policy. There's the tool which is shown on the, this page can help us to generate the policy. You just fill in every fields, and then you can generate the policy in the JSON format. This is AWS Policy Generator. It's a very useful tool. For the S3, it has a feature of versioning. Versioning can help reserve every you upload into the storage, and you can use the version number to access that file. So this feature can recover from accidental deletion or overwrite. We can see the right side of the picture. When a file is updated, it's just put onto the storage and generate a new ID, but the previous version are all reserved. When we delete, we actually don't delete the file, but we put a delete marker on top of it. So if I want to retrieve the data directly, there's no such an object, but you can access history with the version number. In the versioning, uh, there's also a very important concept is S3 object lock. It can help you protect the file. It uses read length, read many model. So you can define a retention period for that S3. If you want to reserve it for long and don't want to uh, have some uh, fixed period, you can use legal hold. That means you will reserve it forever. When we want to move file into the S3, there are at least four ways. One is using AWS CRI, using the command line to upload the file. The second one is using the AWS console to upload the file. Next is using the data sync. And the last, S3 provides a function called transfer to SFTP. And you can upload your file using the F I SFTP into the S3. That's very useful. 
if you think uploading files uh, because you have so many files and large files, you want to speed up, here at least uh, two ways can help you. One is using the multi-part upload. Using this, it uh, just split your big file into smaller chunks and uh, transfer them in parallel and uh, assemble them at the server side. This can help you to speed up. Another way is uh, maybe your S3 is in US West 1, but you want to upload a file from AP North East 1. So this cross region will bring us a high latency. In this way, we can use S3 transfer acceleration. The back end technology is using the Amazon Cloud Font to receive your file and then use Amazon high speed internal network to transfer to the, your target. This is a very efficient way for you if your file is uh, distributed globally. For the S3, it also has a concept of storage types. Different storage types have different price. If your file is accessed frequently, you use S3 standard, which also the price is highest. If it's less accessed, you can use S3 standard IA, which means infrequently accessed. This price will be about 20% cheaper than the standard. If you want to its cheapest, of course, maybe it's due to some legal, uh, legal compliance, or maybe some locks you want to save it, you don't know when you need access. Maybe it's saved for five years and deleted. You can use S3 Glacier. This is the cheapest storage, which is used for those backups. Now, let's go back to your previous, my previous question. How to set up a website with static content only? Using S3? Yes, it's very convenient to using S3 to hold those static content. You can see only three steps here. First, create a bucket in S3, make it public, enable static website hosting. Second, upload HTML files into S3 buckets. The third is to select all files in S3. In action menu, scroll down and choose make public. Then you can see your website from the S3. That's the easiest way. I hope you get uh, some basic understanding of AWS 3. Thank you for listening. Bye.